What's up everyone, GBJ here with another Dinkum Quick Guide. No long intros, none of that, let's just hop right in. First we're going to be heading over to nexusmods.com and we're going to be installing their amazing modding utility for games called Vortex. So we're going to be clicking support, then install Vortex, and from there we're going to click download latest version when it takes us to that page. Once we're on that page, you'll see the most recent Vortex at the top. There are, however, two dependencies that you will need for Vortex. They are .NET 6 and Windows 10 are above. I expect most people to have this. If you regularly update your Windows, I won't be going over how to install them. We're just going to proceed to the Vortex download. Once you've clicked download, proceed with the installation steps as you would just about any other application. And at the end, you have the option to run Vortex, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Mine will most certainly look a little different from yours. You'll probably have tons of pop-ups, tons of tutorial prompts all over the place. But, you know, you can skip through all that. Click Games on the left-hand side, and we're going to type in Dinkum. And it should either say Manage or Activate when you hover over the picture of Dinkum. Once you click Manage or Activate, Vortex is going to stage the Dinkum folder to make it ready to be modded. Next, we go find some mods. So we're going back to the page we just downloaded Vortex from, clicking the drop down menu, making sure we select Games, and we're typing in Dinkum. On this page, we're going to be looking for the popular mods, specifically the tab that says All Time, and we're going to click the first result, which is Craft from Storage. Click Vortex at the top of the Craft from Storage page. You'll get prompted with two files that you need, BepinX6 and TR Tools. TR Tools cannot be installed without BepinX6, so that's going to be what we install first. This page has a visual guide. Scroll down, follow all six steps, and you'll have BepinX6 installed. We're going to be continuing on to installing TR Tools. So we're heading back over to the TR Tools page, clicking Download and letting Vortex do all the work for us. Obviously, I already have the file, so I'm going to get this pop-up. You, however, should be clicking Accept or whatever prompt that allows you to continue with installing the mod. Now we're going to head back over to the Craft from Storage page and perform the same exact steps we performed to install TR Tools. Then we're going to open up Dinkum. As you can see, TR Tools adds a little mods icon down in the bottom left hand corner, and it also shows you the mods you currently have installed and whether or not if they need an update. It's a really good tool. Now we're at this crafting bench. Here's my inventory to let you see that I have nothing in there. And here's the inside of the crafting bench. And you see tons of green check marks. There's no way I have any of that in my inventory, which means that the mod is working and we have succeeded. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and be well. And as always, drop a sub if you found this video helpful. I would greatly appreciate it.